What is going on guys? It's Brian from Men's Comics. We are talking about those trends in the comic book community. That's right. This is three up, three down. We're going to talk about three rising trends and three trends that are kind of on the decline within the comic community. Real quick, if this is your first time on my channel, I do a lot of comic and pop culture related videos. So please consider subscribing and click that bell notification so that way you always be notified when a future video is published. But we're going to get right into it starting with those upward trends. And the first one we're talking about is sketchbooks. That's right, sketchbooks. If you go to comic cons or a lot of times online, you may or may not be familiar with sketchbooks, but the comic book artists, a lot of them out there have their own sketchbooks. There's a couple of them right now that are actually trending upwards. And we're talking about one in particular, the Book of Outrage. That is that Frank Cho sketchbook. That one's definitely seeing some heat on secondary market. There's other popular artists that sketchbooks are always sought after such as Adam Hughes, J. Scott Campbell. Art Germ's another one that those books tend to rise in, in value. He also, Art Germ in particular, just like a lot of these other artists, will sometimes offer sketchbooks in conventions back when you could go to comic conventions at their table or at whoever was hosting them. They would have special sketchbooks inserted within the regular copies that would either have signed, signed copies or special sketches in them. Another one that's popular right now is Jim Lee. We got the All-American one that was released not too long ago, but Right now, if you go to Trinity Comics, they actually have a hardcover Jim Lee autograph sketchbook that you can get on there right now. And I believe it's for sale for $150. And again, that's at Trinity Comics. I will put a link in the description if you're interested in picking that up. The next one, talking about on the three up portion. We talk about it a lot on this channel, talk about Boom Studios, but no denying it, and it's still popular. Something is killing the children, especially those single digit issues. If you're talking about one through 10, a lot of those, especially one through five, and those later printings are still selling super well on the secondary market. I'm talking a raw number one, of course, is $180. Something Killing Children, I've had, we've had people comment on here. Most, a lot of people tend to like it. There are some that say, mm, it's not for me, but that's what's great about comics in the first place. There's something for everyone, but this one just might not be their cup of tea. But either way, these books still remained an upward trend in the comic community. That's what I want to talk about in the three up is those Sony video game comic properties. Just recently, Media Post had an interview with PlayStation production chairman, and he announced that they have 10 Sony PlayStation games in development, whether it's for a movie or TV show. He did say that they three of them are movies and the other seven of them are TV shows. We know just in this year, in 2021, that we're getting a Last of Us show on HBO Max. That Last of Us American Dream series has always been one that's popular. Back in 2013, when Sony had initially mentioned it was gonna be a movie, those books were well sought after and it's very low print run. If, uh, so they're not easy to find. And with that show coming, they're starting to get raised in popularity again. We also know that we're getting Tom Holland in that Uncharted movie. Anyone that's played the Uncharted game knows how great that is. Tom Holland, we're getting the Uncharted movie. And there's going to be a Twisted Metal TV show. So there's something to be on the lookout for. But there's also speculation we saw after The Witcher debuted, how popular that was on Netflix. The director of Witcher actually suggested it'd be great to see a God of War show. I'm all over that. I would love God of War. And... That 2010 God of War comic book series, those aren't very cheap either, especially those number one. There's also a second print for hand for that. Those were all go for over $100 easy. If there was ever some news of that, those would definitely take off even more. And although that 2010 God of War series has that low print run as well, and those prices are up there, one of the series that's cheaper is the God of War 2018. This series in 2010 was six issues. The one in 2018 was four. And although that 2010 series was more, is more sought after, a lot of people like the latest God of War game better and feel that would be more adapted to the screen where Kratos is pulled out of his home environment and he's now into that Norse mythology. Not only that, but he has a son that he's teaching. A lot of people like that gaming aspect. A lot of people like that father-son dynamic. If they do a show or a movie, if the, and then that's the story they adapt. The 2018 series had four, it had four issues and it's worth picking up because if, if that goes off, you know, all it takes is an alert and then people go crazy over it. So pick them up now while they're still cheap. But another one that people are talking about is Horizon Zero Dawn. And we just got a Horizon Zero Dawn comic book series from Titan. So those books might be worth picking up as well. But now we're gonna transition over to the downward trends. First one on the downward trend, this isn't necessarily down, the attention's kind of off of them right now. And we're talking about those Spider-Verse books. Now, if you look at some of the Spider-Verse books, say like Amazing Spider-Man number four with Cindy Moon, and a lot of those books are trending from this fall 
they're trading about $50 less than what they were selling for in September, October. That's kind of just the nature of this cycle. People's attention is everywhere else. But if you wanted these, they're still not cheap, a lot of them, but they're down, they're down more than they were, and it might be worth picking up before we get more Spider-Verse news. Miles Morales, of course, is the outlier. A lot of those books are hot, but a lot of those Spider-Verse characters, it might be worth taking a look at. Next one that's down is USPS. The holiday season crushed the mail, right? I mean, everyone, you buy stuff on eBay, you bought gifts, you bought stuff. I mean, even Amazon Prime, you weren't getting Prime shipping anymore if it was coming from USPS. People was books. I saw pictures of post offices where they were just understaffed or due to COVID, that packages were just sitting there waiting to be delivered. So it's definitely one that you heard a lot of people talking about on social media. Hey, where's my package? Or if you were a seller on eBay, you might've been getting messages also going, hey, where's my package, bro? USPS is definitely down. But the last one I want to talk about for the down portion this week is another one that's kind of, hey, it's a great title, great book, love the series, but Saga right now, we are getting that middle of that hiatus, extended hiatus. I was I was joking in the Patreon Discord, it's like, when this series comes back, is anyone going to even remember the, the, the cliffhanger that the arc ended on last time? Still a great book, and yes, a 9 eight's not cheap, but they have not appreciated what a lot of other keys within the comic book community have appreciated, and I think that's just because, hey, there's no news, there's no series, the, the books aren't out right now, so you always hit that lull, kind of like we had the same thing when Walking Dead was very popular. In between the seasons, the books would kind of settle back down a little bit and then pick back up. I see that happening with Saga, and it's still a modern day blue chip book to have. So there it is guys, there is three up, three down for this week. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys see turning upwards? What do you guys see turning downwards? I wanna thank the Patreon members also for providing recommendations in that Patreon Discord. This is Brian with Men's Comics. See you guys in the next video.